Have you decided what to paint? <laughs> like you even need to ask. It's obviously going to be Paimon. Sure. But we should move elsewhere. We're likely to disturb Bennett's sleep if we stay here, so let's go outside. Okie dokie! Alright, grab your easel, paper, brushes, and paints. Don't leave anything behind. Hmm. Let's paint here. Allow Paimon to adopt an elegant pose for your artistic reference. Hey! What's that look for? Uh, cut the attitude and start putting your perfect Paimon down on the page. You better take this seriously, because this is going on Paimon's wall. Confidence is a good thing. Those to whom it is endowed do well to flaunt it. I'm looking forward to the finished piece. Previously received any education in the fine arts? Oh, really? So it's just a hobby then? Oh, well, that sure explains a lot. There's no way you would have made Paimon look like this if you'd had any amount of formal training. Fascinating. Paimon, if this is not to your liking, I can make a few amendments. <sighs> All right then. Paimon, is this better? Adding flourish to the finished piece is an essential component of what makes art... art. This is not to say that you differ from the painting on a fundamental level, rather that the real you and the you in the painting present two different styles of beauty. You remain the core reference point for the painting. So, Paimon, you can put your misgivings aside and hang this painting wherever you like. Wow! Thanks, Albedo. Oh, I merely added a flourish here and there. You should be thanking the Traveler. In truth, ground-up overhaul is more or less an accurate description. The more Paimon looks at it, the more she likes it. <laughs> Great! Paimon has a portrait painting! Paimon's gonna show this off to everyone! It's nothing. I can paint you next time, if you'd like. You can hang it in your home as a souvenir. I rarely entertain so many guests at my camp. It's lively. A little noisy, even. But... I don't dislike it. Liveliness is a rare thing here on Dragonspine. 